Good morning students. Today we revise built-in functions in list. As in a previous class, we learn about the list. As we know that list is a sequence of values or items which are enclosed in square brackets. We learn about the various methods of creating lists, the various operations on lists such as membership operators like in and not in list slicing, uh, repetition and concatenation. Today we learn about functions on list. So first function is append function. Append function is used to add a single item to the end of the list. It does not create a new list rather than it modifies the original list. The single element can also be added to a list by using a append function. Syntax is uh, list dot append and we pass as an argument item as an argument which we want to add to our list where item can be a number string another list dictionary etc. For example, we have a list L1 have elements 10 20 30 comma 40 and we want to add a new element 55 in the list so we can write l1 dot append and we pass 55 as a argument to the append function uh, and then print that list when we run this program we get the output 10 20 30 40 55 55 is added at the end of the list after 40 now practical implementation of a append function uh, here we have write, written a program write a program to accept values from the user up to a certain limit entered by the user if the number is even then add it to the list here we are making a program in this program we are entering the uh, values of a list from the user and if that item or a value is even value then we add that value to the list if, uh, for this first of all we have created an empty list l named l equals to square brackets empty list we are creating here uh, then we are uh, adding the asking the total number of values you want in a list how many uh, values you want in a list two three four whatever then as we know that when we repeat some process then we use loops you can use either for loop or while loop i have used while loop here uh, here we uh, in Int, uh, enter the value a equals to int input enter the element and after that we have a uh, fine uh, that whether that uh, the element you have entered is even or not for this we have uh, using an if condition here if a modulus 2 equals to 0 means agar hum a ko divide kar rahe hain aur reminder hamare paas 0 aa raha hai it means that value is even then add that value to the list after that increment the value of i means move to the next element for adding the value and then humne us list ko print kara diya for getting a output uh, we have created that program here on python ideally humne python ideally web program banaya hai first of all humne ek empty list create ki after that we have input the total number of values you want in the list fir humne counting variable liya i because here we are repeating a process ek process bar bar repeat ho rahi and the process is that we are adding a element to a list so, we uh, have a loop use kiya, while uh, i is less than equals to n uh, input a equals to int input enter element. Now, if a modulus 2 equals to 0 means the value you have input ki hai, agar wo even value hai, then wo add ho jaye list. So, we have a have a if condition use kiya, if a modulus 2 equals to 0, then l dot happen a and I am increment ho jai means I moves to the next value. We run this program. We have this program ko run kiya. It asks the how total number of values in a list. 
means how many values you want in a list suppose we want three so you enter uh, he has enter the element suppose we have input three empty again we have a empty list empty list hai hamare paas again because uh, we have input 3 and 3 is not an even value again we put suppose 2 2 is added in the, into the list suppose uh, then our program is finished we have entered 3 then enter the element suppose we input 2 it two is are in the list then we enter 3 3 is not added in the list because 3 is not an even value then we entered 4 4 is added in the list we have humne yahan pe total number of values 3 dali thi to usne hum hame he asked three times three times usne humse value pucha which value we want in to enter in the list so 2 and 4 are the even values so he added 2 and 4 in the list so in this way append function works so append function is used to add a value to a list so this is all about the append function thank you